Alright, good morning family. Um, I'm here, it's the first morning in Red Bluff and it's super nice. Well, it's not like super pretty out, but the temperature's rad. I'm barefoot right now. Just because I was going to go out to the car and get something real quick. Then I was like, this is so nice. And I'm the only one awake right now. Um, just because, ooh, because my insomnia woke me up, so, which is cool, normal. Um, but yeah, dude, what a great morning for a little cruise. So that's what I'm doing. I think this morning I'm gonna try to go, once more people are awake and I can actually say later for a little bit that I'm gonna go to uh, the skate park here probably and try to get some tricks. But yeah, morning is starting off great. He's not sure about me at all, or she, whatever. She has hummingbirds commonly come and hang out with her and stuff, so um, I'm sitting out near her spot where the bird feeder is, and sure enough, here's her little birdies that she feeds. Cute little hummingbirds. Isn't that a trip? Dude, I just learned how to do freaking wall rides. Well, there was a tiny wall, yeah, but still, I'm starting to learn the motion, and I know I had some transition to help me up to it. Well, kind of, it was like a ramp and then the wall. So I don't know if that's, it's not a good transition, if it is transition. Anyways, I'm stoked. I feel like that's a super gnarly thing to learn for me. Um, I figured that stuff was hard. I always think it looks super sick, and I'm like, Oh my gosh, that person just did a wall ride. Whatever, dude, if it's a trick alone or in the line, I'm stoked about it. But I just freaking did a couple and I'm stoked. It took me a few tries and I think it was just because it was so hard and scary. Like I was, I was terrified of trying it, but I was like, I don't live in this town. I don't get a lot of spots that are good to practice a wall ride with a little ramp like that. So I need to do this now. And I'm so stoked that I did because after I was done in the bowl, I just put the camera away. I was going to skate a little bit and go. Uh, but I'm stoked. Super stoked. That was that was really fun and it felt rad. And I got it uh, in slow-mo and stuff. So I'm like, I feel like on top of my game right now. So I'm stoked. I'm going to go back um, to the family and we're going to eat some breakfast. They probably already ate or are eating but I just had to get my skating in and get it over with because I do want to hang out with the family, but I don't want to interrupt something to go skating like in the middle of the day. So I interrupted my own breakfast. Um, but now I'm stoked to just spend the rest of the day with everybody and do whatever. So I'm, I'm excited. I've said that plenty of times. And heck yes, I love skateboarding so much. All right, well today, William. This is William Pops. It's my howdy, howdy. man, so it's Pops. Um, he is teaching us how to use, um, well, the mechanics of a Glock 10 and safety and taking it apart and put it back together. So 
This is what we're learning today. John? Why don't you use a camera for YouTubing? Um, like as stated before, I decided to sell the camera because we didn't use it anymore. And then shortly after, I decided to start a YouTube channel. So, that's... You messed up, bro. I know, but I'll just get <laughs> another one. But this is fine. Okay, so, first thing, this is everything that I just learned, so I'm not some kind of pro. So, first thing you do is take the mag out, and that is bullet storage. The next thing is to make sure there's nothing in the chamber. If there's a bullet in there, you'll see it in there, or it would have just ejected right there. Um, and then we pull the trigger until we have the click. You do, what is this called, the claw? The claw, and you grab it, pull it back about an eighth of an inch. And then you let go after you're releasing it, but I'm not actually teaching you, I'm just showing you what I learned, so. Don't use anything I'm doing as a learning device for gun safety. Learn from somebody who actually knows what they're doing, please. <laughs> Shotguns will be different than this. Most of your shotguns, your pumps, they have pumps, single shots, and breakdowns. Is that a shotgun or a rifle? This is a 30-30 Winchester. Take it apart. Trying to remember. You ever watch that movie, Geraldo? Or what's that horse's name in the Tom Cruise movie? No clue. Well, anyways, this is what the Cowboys are shooting into. In that era, but uh, yeah, and this is where you load it on the side. Just as a little exercise to help us be um, more comfortable and more fluent and learn the safety a little better and have it ingrained in our minds, we played a little game and timed each other. Um, this one's me, Willie, this one's Livy, and this one's Christina. Oh, I just did a handstand. And then we got our averages nice. all at the bottom. It was super fun. It's a good little exercise to do.